Hi friends, the next topic we will be learning is GDP. This is something you might have heard in the news, you might have heard people talking about it. Now we will be knowing what is it. We will start with taking an assumption. We will assume there is a small country. In this country, there are only two guys living who are T-Bone and Razor, the SWAT cats. T-Bone likes chocolates and he owns a chocolate factory. In his chocolate factory, he produces five chocolates, each of which is sold for rupees 10. So T1 produces five chocolates and sells them at rupees 10. Hence, the worth of the chocolates produced by him is rupees 50. Similarly, Rezo, he is a gadget freak. He owns a mobile manufacturing company. In his mobile manufacturing firm, he manufactures 15 mobile phones every year and sells them for rupees 10. I know a mobile phone at rupees 10 is very cheap but this is just an example so you can assume it for now. The worth of the mobile phone manufactured is rupees 10 the price of each mobile phone into number of mobile phone which is 15 that is 10 to 15 or rupees 150. So we have seen that the worth of the chocolates produced by T-Bone is rupees 50 and the worth of the mobile phones manufactured by Razer is Rs. 150. Hence, the total worth of the goods produced is 50 plus 150 that is Rs. 200. In other words, we can say that GDP is Rs. 200. In this example, we have assumed that there are only two companies in our country. But in reality, there are thousands of companies in a country. So, the calculation of GDP is actually far more complex than what we have done here. But all that we need to remember is that GDP is actually the sum total of all the goods and services produced within the boundaries of a nation. So do you know what does it mean when somebody says that the growth in GDP is 10%? It actually means that the GDP has increased by 10% when compared to the previous year's GDP. That is, if in some years, say 2005, the GDP was rupees 200 and it grew by 10% in that year. Then the GDP in the year 2006 should have been 200 plus 20% of 200 that is 20, hence 220. So the GDP in 2006 is rupees 220. Sometimes what happens is GDP reduces when compared to the previous year's GDP. So, so the growth in GDP is negative. This phase is known as recessionary phase and the period is recession. This is bad time for a country. A country is set to face recession when it is experiencing a negative growth in GDP for two or more years. US faced a major recessionary phase in the year 2008-2009. Now we'll come to a few facts. The GDP of our country in the last financial year 2010-2011 was rupees 82 lakhs 79,976 crores. Also, the growth in GDP is expected to be 5% in this year. So now what we have learned is what is GDP, what does it mean and how is it calculated, what does growth in GDP means and what is recession. So I hope that this presentation was beneficial for you.